Sarah Zimmerman Duterte is a Filipino politician and lawyer. She is popularly known in the Philippines as Inday Sara. The nickname Inday means beloved in the Visayan language. In her baptism records, her name is Sara Vicenta Z. Duterte, in honor of her grandfather, Vicente Tete Gonzalez Duterte. She is the second child of Rodrigo Roa Duterte, the 16th President of the Republic of the Philippines, and Elizabeth Zimmerman Duterte, a former flight attendant and teacher. Sara is the first ever elected woman and the youngest vice mayor and mayor of Davao City. Her life is profoundly backdropped by her family's long history in politics and public service. Her social political acumen and leadership skills have been sharpened by the Duterte family's tradition of working in the government and serving the people. Sara's grandfather, lawyer Vicente Gonzalez Duterte, was governor of the then undivided Davao province from 1959 to 1965. For three years starting 1965, he served as the Secretary of General Services of former President Ferdinand Marcos. Before this, he served as acting mayor of Cebu's municipality of Danao from 1946 to 1948. Sara's Lolo Tete was a man remembered by many for his humility and magnanimity. Her grandmother, Soledad Gonzalez Roa, was an educator who established a foundation in Davao City that served indigenous people children needing education. She was a prominent advocate for women's rights and was once described as one who had the sharp eye of an eagle, the heart of woman, the hand of a worker, and the confidence and courage of a born leader. On the other hand, Sara's maternal ancestry provided her with an acute understanding of the heart of the working class. Her maternal grandfather, Godofredo Baldazzo Zimmerman, was the son of George John Zimmerman, a German-American missionary, and Christita Baldazzo, who hailed from Hilongas Leyte. Her Lolo Godo worked his way up from crew to ship captain. Her grandmother, Purisima Purin Fortunado Abellana, was an exuberant popular vendor in Davao City's Banquerohan and Manila's Baclaran Markets. Purin's roots are traced back to Tuburan, Cebu, and is a known descendant of Hari Tupas, the son-in-law of Hari Humabon. Before politics, Sara had a brief stint as a court attorney at the Office of Associate Justice Romeo G. Callejo Sr. at the Supreme Court of the Philippines in 2006. She then served as vice mayor from 2007 to 2010 and was elected mayor in 2010 in what is now known as the biggest landslide election victory in the history of Davao. Although a newcomer in 2007, Sara demonstrated transformational leadership skills among the members of the city council. Her colleague, the veteran legislator Pilar Braga, described her as a firm, principled, tactful negotiator, pacifier, and fearless administrator. One of the landmark legislation passed when she was vice mayor was the Watershed Code of Davao. It aims to protect, conserve, and manage the watershed areas of the city. Her landmark project while serving vice mayor was Inday Para Sa Barangay, a whole-of-government approach to service every year in the 182 barangays of the city. It is now called the Caravan of Government Services when she moved to the city mayor's office. During her term as mayor, the timeless Davao Life is Here brand was created. It propelled Davao City's image as a desired market and destination for investment and tourism events, including the meetings, incentives, conferencing, exhibitions. As an AFIC mayor in 2010, she easily gained the trust of Region 11 economic pillars. Then, President Benigno Semyon Aquino Jr. appointed her as chairperson of the Regional Development Council. The RDC under her leadership made notable accomplishments that propelled the region. She was also selected as the NEDA Board Regional Development Committee, Mindanao Area Committee Chairperson. During her first full year as RDC Chairperson, Davao Region's gross regional domestic products expanded from 3.9% in 2011 to 7.1% in 2012. Because of this notable accomplishment, Sara was lauded by a well-respected member of the House of Representatives. The prominent economist Joey Salceda as someone with an enlightened leadership style and sophisticated economic thinking. During her terms as mayor between 2016 and 2022, she played supporting roles to RDC and the Regional Peace and Order Council.
accepting the challenge of the appointment as chairperson of both the Metropolitan Davao Coordinating Committee under the RDC and the Task Force Tuganay of the RPOC. Both committees were trailblazing peace and development initiatives in Region 11. Just this January 2022, the Philippine Senate approved on a third reading the creation of Metropolitan Davao Development Authority. Under Sara's leadership, Davao City soared to greater heights and emerged as a premier city in Mindanao. For the short period of 2011 to 2013, Davao City received 36 awards, citations, and recognitions for good governance, business, tourism, health, environment, fiscal management, transparency, among others. In 2013, Sara took a respite from politics, devoting her time as one of the partner lawyers of Carpio and Duterte Lawyers. She passed the pre-judicature program of the Philippine Judicial Academy in preparation for her plans to join the judiciary. Her desire to continue serving the public led her to be involved in a non-government organization, and in 2014, she was elected to the Board of Governors of the Philippine Red Cross. On the side, she worked on various product endorsements and as a segment host for a local morning news show on GMA Network. In 2016, Sara re-entered local politics and ran for mayor. She and her mother Elizabeth, who was in between cancer treatments, embarked on a national bus caravan called Viaheng Duterte to help campaign for President Duterte. They were joined by some members of the family and Sara's friends and classmates from high school. Fresh from the success of the bus campaign, the centerpiece of her mayoral comeback was called Biahing Do 30, a political agenda guided by 30 projects for 10 priority sectors – education, health, poverty alleviation, infrastructure development, solid waste management and environment, agriculture, investment and tourism, traffic and transportation management, disaster risk reduction and management, and peace and order. As a believer of continuity, Sara's 2019 mayoral re-election bid was anchored on the 2016 platform, but this time called Biaheng Do 30, the second trip. Sara relentlessly pursued peace and progress in her administration. As a result, she was able to lift Davao City to a stellar national status with 117 awards, citations, and recognition from 2017 to December 2021. Davao City was included on the 2021 Top 10 Richest Cities of the Philippines of the Commission on Audit. In the same year, Davao City was ranked the fourth most competitive, highly urbanized city by the Department of Trade and Industry. At the end of the calendar 2022, Davao City is expected to be debt-free. At the start of 2016, as she returned as mayor, Davao City's loan balance was in the amount of 1,393,456,505.65 out of the principal amount of 4,546,598,641.12 contracted by the city during the years 2000 and between 2005 and 2010. Loan repayments have been consistently provided for in the budget. For 2022, the amount of 46,706,231.85 has been made available for the final repayment of loans, making Davao City debt-free. Sara has been recognized both here and abroad for the work that she has done as local chief executive. In 2012, she was one of the 88 nominees to the prestigious World Mayor Awards and one of the only two Filipino mayor nominees. In 2021, she was selected as the Philippines' top performing mayor, with a rating of 93% by an independent and non commissioned survey of the RP Mission and Development Foundation, Incorporated. It was a feat achieved in the time of the crushing pandemic. Foreign governments have also recognized Sara for her work, generously supporting and inviting her to learn from their countries. She was one of only two Philippine mayors invited in 2012 by the government of Israel to attend the 28th International Mayors' Conference. She also participated in the World Mayors' Forum in Singapore that same year. In 2018, Sara participated in a study tour for urban planning in Japan with the Japan International Cooperation Agency in Tokyo and Kitakyushu. 
and in 2020, she attended the 88th Winter Meeting of the United States Conference of Mayors in Washington, D.C. Sarah is an alumna of the International Visitors Leadership Program of the U.S. State Department. Her advocacies are reflected in the projects dearest to her, the Peace 911, Pagbabago Campaign, Magnegosyo Taday, and the Kian Gabriel Hotline. Peace 911 is a successful local peace initiative that practically brought stability to the once conflict area of Pakibata District in Davao City. The project contributed to the collapse of the new People's Army Guerrilla Front 55. The Pagbabago Campaign is a two-pronged approach to solving interlocking problems related to poverty, children's education, and responsible parenthood. Through the Pagbabago Campaign, community children are given school bags that contain reading materials on the importance of education and responsible parenting. Sarah personally delivers these Pagbabago bags to children and mothers. She hopes to use her voice and influence to steer families into the right path out of poverty. The Key and Gabriel Hotline was created to allow anonymous reporting of child neglect and abuse that paved the way to rescue a child in distress. MTD is a livelihood support project that encouraged entrepreneurship of women. The success of MTD spawned the Rainbow Magnegosyo Taday that intend to support entrepreneurship in the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transsexual community. In 2018, Sarah led the creation of Hugpong ng Pagbabago, a region-wide political party aimed at creating a strong, peaceful, and developed region that becomes a symbol of hope for our country's progress. Just like in 2016, she also went around the country in 2018, but this time on her favorite big bike, a 900cc Yamaha XSR she fondly named Ella, to campaign for senators who sought her help in their candidacies. Sara took her oath as a member of the Lakas Christian Muslim Democrats National Party in November 2021. She was later elected as chairperson of the party. She is currently running for vice president in the 2022 Philippine elections. Sara is an adopted member of the Philippine Military Academy Maharlika Class of 1984 and the Philippine National Police Academy Tagapagkalinga Class of 1991. She is a member of the Philippine Coast Guard Auxiliary and the Armed Forces of the Philippines Army Reserve Command. She holds the rank of Colonel and is currently the Assistant Brigade Commander of the 2202nd Ready Reserve Combined Arms Brigade, Philippine Army. She has received several medals, ribbons, budgets, and citations for her work in Davao in support of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. She received a Presidential Award from former President Benigno Simeon Aquino Jr. and the Philippine Commission for the Urban Poor in December 2011. In August 2021, Sara was celebrated by Asia Pacific Luminaire Awards as someone who has contributed to the creation of a brighter future. Sara is a Bachelor of Science in Respiratory Therapy graduate from the San Pedro College in Davao City. She received her Juris Doctor degree from the San Sebastian College Recoletos in the city of Manila. She was presented as one of the 30 most outstanding St. Augustine awardees of SSCR in January 2014 and was granted by the SSCR College of Law the Distinguished Alumna Award for Public Service in February 2020. She also received the Distinguished Woman of Service Award from the San Beda College Alumni Association in February 2011. Sara spent four years of law school at the San Beda and her final year in SSCR. Sara also completed the tween program of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Command and General Staff College and the Development Academy of the Philippines in 2011. Sara is a graduate of the AFP CGSC General Staff Course and DAP Master of Public Management. Sara is blessed as an adopted member of the Ata Tribe of Davao City in 2013. She was named Bio Simolon. She is also an adopted daughter of the province of Camarines Sur and the city of Tangu and blessed as an adopted daughter of the province of Abras, Tinguian Tribe in 2019, given the name Duli Maman, which was inspired by the courageous heroine in the tribe's epic Wadagan Ken Duli Maman. Sara was once involved in an infamous punching incident of a court sheriff in 2011. She has twice publicly apologized for what happened and was suspended by the Department of the Interior and Local Government and reprimanded through an administrative case. 
Looking back, she describes the sad incident as a turning point in her life as a politician, a constant reminder not to embarrass the mandate given to me by the people. She now considers herself the best person to talk about peace because she was once a national face of rage. Meanwhile, Sarah has a collection of photos of facades and altars of numerous Catholic churches that she personally took during her travels all around the country as memento. She is keenly interested in the architecture and history of Catholic churches, believing that each reflect the faith of the people and the uniqueness of the towns where these churches are built. She is married to fellow lawyer Manassas Reyes Carpio, and they have three children named Shark, Stingray, and Stonefish. Inday Sara is undoubtedly no magician, but the strength of her heart to lift everyone and soar high, fight, and win makes her second to none.